Cerebro City, at least 23 people have been killed in the strongest typhoon to hit the Philippines this year, officials said on Saturday, with alarming reports of destruction on islands that bore the brunt of the storm. More than, people fled their homes and beachfront resorts as Typhoon Roy ravaged the southern and central regions of the archipelago, knocking out communications and electricity in many areas, ripping off roofs and toppling concrete power poles. Roy was a super typhoon when it smashed into the popular tourist island of Siaga on Thursday, packing maximum sustained winds of 195 km per hour, 120 miles per hour. Aerial photos shared by the military showed widespread damage in the town of General Luna where many surfers and holidaykers had flocked ahead of Christmas, with buildings stripped of roofs and debris littering the ground. The neighboring island of Dinagat had been leveled to the ground by the storm, Governor Arlene Baguio wrote on Facebook, saying houses, boats and fields were destroyed. Walls and roofs were torn and blown off by Odette-like paper, Baguio said, using the local name for the typhoon. We have a dwindling supply of food and water. Electricity and telecommunications are down. Rise wind speeds eased to 150 kp as it barreled across the country, dumping torrential rain that flooded villages, uprooting trees and shattering wooden structures. It emerged over the South China Sea on Saturday and was headed towards Vietnam, the state weather forecaster said. This is indeed one of the most powerful storms that has hit the Philippines in the month of December in the last decade, Alberto Bocanegra, head of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies in the Philippines, told FF. The information we are receiving and the pictures we are receiving are very alarming. The overall death toll was at least 23, according to official tallies. More than military, police, coast guard and fire personnel will join search and rescue efforts in the worst affected regions, Mark Timball, spokesman for the National Disaster Agency, told FF. There has been severe damage on Siaga Island and the northern tip of the southern island of Mindanao, Timball said, referring to areas that took the full force of the typhoon as it slammed into the country. There are around residents on Siaga, but the population swells with tourists drawn to its beaches and big waves. Philippine Coast Guard has shared photos on social media showing widespread destruction around Surigo City on Mindanao. Aerial footage showed swells of rice fields underwater. At least three people were killed and dozens injured in the storm, Surigo City Mayor Ernesto Matugas told broadcaster ABS-CBN. Shattered glass from smashed windows, sheets of corrugated iron roofing, power lines and other debris were scattered in the street. The vice governor of Dinagat said at least six people had been killed there. Residents on the island of Arand, people were trying to repair their houses because even our evacuation centers were torn down, Nilo Demery told ABS-CBN. They can't seek refuge anywhere else, everything was destroyed. Vice President Lino Obrado tweeted photos of motorbikes crowded around a petrol station and people lining up for drinking water in the central province of Cebu, where the country's second busiest airport was damaged and flights suspended. Bocanegra warned the disruption to electricity would affect the water supply, raising concerns about hygiene and disease. Roy hit the Philippines late in the typhoon season, most cyclones typically develop between July and October. Scientists have long warned that typhoons are becoming more powerful and strengthening more rapidly as the world becomes warmer because of human-driven climate change. The Philippines, ranked as one of the world's most vulnerable countries to the impacts of climate change, is hit by an average of 20 storms and typhoons every year, which typically wipe out harvests, homes and infrastructure in already impoverished areas. I block test why.